when Wonder Woman comes in and um, first meets Etta, she makes it clear that she sees Etta and she sees her for something else other than the secretary who goes where he goes and does what he wants her to do, him to do. And, um, and she makes her feel worthy. And I think that being noticed, like with anyone in life, actually gives you some confidence that maybe um, you're not worthless. The world of superheroes, it's so fabulous, and I, I'm not terribly sure why we are so fascinated with it. Um, for, for me, I, sometimes we can say it's because we really want to be those people, those superheroes. I feel it um, actually reminds us of who we really are. I, I think that really deep down that we are all magnificent beings and we get lost and we get disconnected along the way and um, someone like Wonder Woman comes along and tells us that it's okay to be nice and it's okay to be kind and compassionate and you don't have to convince other people that you are of your own opinion in order for you to be okay. One of the great things that Etta gets to work with Steve Trevors is because Steve is not your typical man in that he does entrust her with things that in 1918 probably wouldn't have been entrusted to a secretary of somebody who is quite important. Um, as you see in the movie, she has been entrusted with the mission that they are secretly on. Um, eventually, further down the line, Sir Patrick entrusts her. Um, that's, that's quite good going, actually. Um, so I think that, that he needs her just as much as she needs that, because now she's been given responsibility that she wouldn't have normally been given before. And equally, he has somebody who can probably fly under the radar a bit, um, so he can trust the person who no one's really looking at. Um, so I quite like that about that.